Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Creek Forge and another tip of the day video where we talk about fundamental things to pay attention to when building a knife handle. I just got done rough shaping a batch of kitchen knife handles here, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to talk about handle design and building. In short, in a short word, uh, ergonomics is what we're talking about here, but let's let's dive into that a little bit deeper for a minute and explore what ergonomics mean in a knife handle. So the first thing that I would, would bring to the front here and talk about is the, the uh, natural indexing of a knife handle. What I mean by that is the user should know where the edge is on the knife at all times when they're gripping the knife. And the simplest way, or one of the simplest ways to accomplish that is with some form of a oval type cross section on a handle. Whether it's narrower down here on the edge side or, or whatever, that's, that's some finer details. But the point is, is that the, the total opposite of what I'm talking about would be a round handle in which no matter where you're holding it, you're not going to know where the edge is. And that's not good. So a nice oval cross section, something like that, that you're going to know exactly where the edge is as you're using the knife and it, it makes makes for a much much better uh, knife and a much better experience for the user. The second thing I'd pull out when it comes to proper handle design and ergonomics is just the natural comfort of the handle and the oval cross section comes into play there as well because while you want something that is easily indexed and, and, and will not uh, easily uh, move from the chosen indexing of the user, such as twisting in the hand or something like that, you also don't want something that's so angular or has sharp edges or corners on it, I should say, to where the user is going to experience discomfort and even possibly injury in the form of hot spots or blisters during an extended period of use. And so it's very important to have well-rounded corners uh, a well-rounded cross-section that while it's secure in the grip, it is also very comfortable and is not going to present um, uneven pressure points on the grip. That's very important. So the comfort of the user while, while uh, employing that tool is going to be important, especially for any extended period of time. And, and these kitchen knives are a great example. If somebody's using this professionally, they're going to be using these for an extended period of time and you don't want to have to worry about you know getting a blister or a hot spot or something like that and so it's very important to pay attention to that the third thing that I would bring to the forefront here and this all of these things are applicable across the board to any type of knife it just happens to be kitchen knives we're looking at today but the third thing I would bring to the forefront is the uh, the versatility of the grip in in the different uh, ways or manners in which the knife might be used and, and the kitchen knife is a great example of this um, perhaps like a, a field dressing or skinning knife is a really good example as well but what i mean by that is there's multiple different ways in which the user might grip the knife in order to employ it depending on what they're using it for this knife we'll use right here as an example you might hold this knife like so as you're chopping some kind of food but you're also going to employ it oftentimes in a pinch grip or a lot of people like to use a pinch grip depending on what they're doing if they're using the tip of the knife uh, that kind of thing and so there's different grips that you're going to employ on the same knife depending on what the particular task is and you want to be sure that your knife handle accommodates all of those potential uh, potential grips or uh, locations of, of use and uh, of course I mentioned the field dressing knife earlier which this one is, is a paring knife for the kitchen but um, you know on a field dressing knife you might be holding it down here but you might also be holding it up here using your index finger and so there's different ways that you're going to hold the knife and you want to be sure that the grip style and the handle design accommodate that as well as when it comes to things like you know where your fingers are going to be in those different grip positions you know are you going to potentially run into a corner or an edge or something like that if you have your hand in a different uh, grip position i think another way to sum this whole concept up is thinking of the handle of the knife as the user interface to the blade because while the steel the heat treat the blade grind the edge geometry all of those things are very important 
But when it comes right down to it, the user is interacting with the blade, with the edge, through the handle. And so having good ergonomics, a good design is very important. Basically, does this knife or any other knife invite the user to employ it in its intended task? And I think so. I think it really does. You know, just going in and slicing up some onions and cooking up some a good breakfast or dinner or what have you, definitely feel like this blade right here would be a help and a, a joy to use. So hopefully this helps you guys in your shop. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out the hundreds of knife build videos on the channel here with lots of useful information in them. As always, appreciate you guys watching and we will see you on the next video.